Well, my question really was, what do men talk? Oh, okay, yes. Uh, why do men talk out of both sides of the mouth? Why do they say they don't like women who dress a certain way, but go after women who dress that way? Well, as we saw in the video, this man was obviously compromised in some way. So, uh, um, so, and that's probably most likely the best he could get. So the other side of that is when you got a, a better tier man who may you may see walking with someone like that, um, because it's uh, a sugar box session for him. That is pr pretty much it. He, I can almost guarantee he's not going to wife her. He's not going to bring her on his family. He's not going to bring her to the cookout. He's not going to introduce her to her boss. Um, he's not going to uh, bring her to, you know, as I talk about this often is that, you know, I was my time in the police department, like we had to like mayor's balls, especially when I went up, when I started becoming a member of the command staff, right? We had to go to the mayor's ball and this function to, uh, uh, you know, fundraising stuff and, you know, this, this ceremony for that and all this, you know, all these highfalutin people there. I couldn't have a girl with a tattoo on her neck, you know, showing up <laughs> I, or, or you know talking all crazy and ratchet and stuff so so i think that the higher you go your, your standards are going to be going to be lowered but you may but they may sleep with these ladies and you gotta ladies really need to understand that dichotomy right just like women have a friend zone right just like a woman has a friend zone a place where they will put a guy just in case <laughs> right he's gonna come over he's gonna cut my grass he's gonna help me move furniture if i move from one apartment to another apartment he's gonna help he's gonna come in and hang my tv he's gonna come in and if i got kids maybe bring him out to ice cream every now and he's he's like and you know this man has has sexual interest in you romantic interest in you you know he does you know it he told you and you said no i don't want this but I'm going to keep calling you, take me to the movies every once in a while when I'm bored and all this kind of stuff. Meanwhile, she's got her other guy who's doing whatever. So you got to figure out as a man where you stand in that. And so just like a woman has a place where they're going to put you, men have the same place. And this woman is just for fun, period. She's not going with me to the company picnic. She's not She's not getting keys to my house. She's not getting uh, security codes. She's not getting access to my bank account. All, all she is is a session. I'll pay a bill or two, maybe, uh, but that's it. Don't ask me to come over and chill out just to watch movies because that ain't what it is. And if you and if you think, and if a woman thinks that this is going on, and you th start thinking that you're the main chick, as that, <laughs> as what was that song by, um, by Fabulous, right? You want to try to get from the back seat to the passenger. You will always be in the back seat. <laughs> you are never going to become the main chick. You will always be. <laughs> you will never be in the passenger seat. You're always going to be in the back seat. So uh, and if you think that that's what it is. So this gets confusing to ladies because I see the guy. They see the, you know, the wholesome woman getting passed over. Well, the probably uh, one of the reasons they're probably being passed over is because a guy is compromised in some way. He's not financially secure and or he doesn't have a backbone or spine. He's got a system of, or network of spineless men. So you see this guy, and he's this guy's. Got, he had nice clothes on, right? He got his hat flipped off and all that. I mean, at the end, but he had nice clothes on. So it seems as if you know he's driving a nice car. He's driving. He's got nice clothes on. So maybe he's doing well. And you can't make those associations. What it was? What it was? Four hundred one k look like? Does he have any stocks and bonds? Does he have? You know? Does he own his own home? Does he? You know? What's his car payment look like? What's his bank account look like? So just because you're making money. And you're spending it on on these women as you're taking them to restaurants and you got a bunch of gold around your neck is not is not an indicator i know you all know this is not an indicator of financial success but you, when you see a guy dressed like this and you see him doing that and you see him chasing after these women and hanging on the bars and they got him in his car and they're bringing him stuff and they're taking him on vacation you don't know what their credit card situation looks like you don't know what their bank account looks like you don't know what their what the what you know stocks bonds retirement funds you don't know anything about any of that so, yeah, so it's it's I don't think it's so much speaking on the both sides of their mouth a lot of times. Now, if you see a man who's doing that, who's well to do working a corporate, you know, a lawyer or something like that, who's going out to these types of chicks, then I guarantee I, I would almost guarantee you that it's just he don't want to deal with the headache of the headache. He don't want to deal with, with a real relationship, but he but he's still looking to have some fun when he's doing what he's got to do and so those type of women would just it's like you just be there when i call you just be there when i call you and that's what it is so i hope i answered your i hope i answered your question there. uh let's see so doctor uh so dr big l what about cersei or claire from house of card oh claire i don't remember oh claire 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 
Uh, what about them? I thought they were. I thought they're. I mean, I thought they were. Oh, oh, so they were powerful women. Is that what you mean? Powerful women. Um, Cersei was a powerful woman, but she was still subject to Robert Baratheon. You've seen that episode where, she, where Robert put hands on her, right? <laughs> Girl, shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm still the king, right? Um, uh, and no matter how much Claire power that she eventually got right she got more powerful as 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 the episodes went on um because whatever was going on so she got more powerful claire did um but still i I forget forget, um house cards the the president he was still he was the man you know he finagled his his self into the white house as as a house of representative member he finagled his way into the white house so he was still the man covenant cutting and all that and he still ran everything he did he run things by her have conversations with her yeah 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 so it's not, not, nobody's ever saying that you know that the accomplishments degrees and stuff don't mean anything well, they don't mean anything they just the most important thing is that you're still nurturing and when uh both robert baratheon and when uh um claire i can't forget the the, the guy who became president um when they still had their breakdowns and were crying and stuff, when they were going through your emotional time, those women were there emotionally for them. So that's that's the most important thing. So, and I'm still in charge. When I tell you to do something, even though there was sometimes when Claire didn't want to do some things, she's like, oh, I, I have something going on. I got this going on. He's like, this is more important. Get it done. And she did it. That's the way it's got to be. <laughs> I'm the big dog. I'm the big dog in the house. Me. <laughs> yes that's her yep yep my kids uh they're mortified my kids they're mortified <laughs> uh what type of women are they uh, those are the type of women they were they were kind of alpha type of women but they were still um, you know they were queens and you know eventually become presidents and, and higher powered women but even claire like she was cheating on this dude and all kind of crazy stuff claire <laughs> oh, so was so was Cersei too, right? She had, what am I saying? Saying Cersei was cheating on her on man, she had babies by this other dude, right? And it came out that she actually, you know, deleted one of the babies because she didn't want to give Robert Baratheon a kid. Ooh. Man, now you got me thinking these dudes really kind of bait us, right? So <laughs> so you gotta you gotta control your own house. You can't be so 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 out there running the world. And this is one thing, one big thing I learned from the church world, right? So I, again, I grew up in church. And, um, and I became a police officer, right? So, so I saw, and this is good. We're talking about Cersei and Claire. So um, if you haven't watched these shows, you got to go back and watch them so you can get context of what we're talking about here. Um, so I saw where the preachers in the church were out there doing whatever they were doing all the time, right? They were they were traveling the, traveling the country, preaching from church to church. That's how they made their income, right? But their homes were neglected. And that's why in the church world, they would always say, preacher's kids are the worst kids because the because the preacher the pastor whatever the evangelist whatever they're called were out there traveling the world or traveling the world just sometimes and traveling the u.s and not and neglecting their homes so we can see the same thing with robert baratheon who was the king in in uh, the game of thrones great swordsman great uh uh warrior terrible king worst father and horrible husband so you really have to walk, be able to walk that line. So same thing could be said about um, Claire and whatever dude's, his name is. I know, probably in the comment section somewhere. Um, she, she, I think she got pregnant once or twice. If you watch House of Cards, she got pregnant once or twice, and they deleted it, you know, because he didn't want it. He don't, he don't want to be slowed down. Neither one of them wanted to be slowed down in their careers. So, you know, you got to find that balance. So a, a guy's going to, he may want that, but, you know, there's sacrifices got to be made. And both of those guys who are high powered individuals, Robert Baratheon and, and um, the, the president there, but their families suffered. The families suffered. So, and that was, a, that was one of the reasons. And I, I started to talk about me becoming a police officer. So, um, so the, the, the connection between the preachers that I saw whose families were dysfunctional, I saw the same thing when I became a police officer. These guys were working overtime all the time. They would they would get out of work and, and go to the bar instead of going home, right? So that's why I stayed on the midnight shift because I grew up without a father. I knew what that was like. So I, I stayed on the midnight shift. I got home before my kids went to school, got them up, make sure that they got, got, got out to school, went to sleep. Sometimes I would go pick them up or when they got home, I was there. 
And um, so that was that was then I did that for years um, because I wanted to be there, you know, because I was important to me. <clears throat> Hope I answered all those questions. We went through House of Cards and Game of Thrones. <laughs> Love Dorsey's on YouTube. She deals with relationship and a lot of mental health. I've never seen her. I'll have to check her out. Thank you for that. 